Say hi, Mama. Speak, Aloy. Speak. So for this video, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taste testing the Shara Moya. This is also known as a sugar apple and is also on the top of the head of the Buddha. Right, so the last time that I got this, I actually really messed it up because I didn't know that it was supposed to be soft. And so what happened, it was really hard for me to cut and it tasted terrible, actually. It was almost impossible to bite into because it wasn't ready to eat yet. So this time I finally have a soft share of moya, so fingers crossed. The reveal. <laughs> this actually looks really good. It looks really juicy. Just a really big tip to anybody who wants to actually try this fruit. Do not eat the seeds. It is so important. Please don't try because I told you not to. You know, because it causes paralysis and you really don't want to eat these seeds. Nobody will be able to save you. Alright, so I'm going to take the seeds out. Ooh. So this fruit is known for having custard-like consistency. So people say that they taste things like pineapples, strawberries, bananas, mangoes, and other tropical fruits, sometimes even coconut. I'm really excited to try this. All right, so it came on there a little bit weird. <laughs> Looks funky. It smells really sweet though. Okay, so this one tastes a lot like bananas. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of strawberry too. It tastes so good though. It's like really sweet. I'm gonna try some from this side too. And now I'm starting to taste like a little bit of pineapple too. Wow, that tastes really good. All right, so all in all, I definitely taste banana, I definitely taste pineapple, and I definitely taste strawberries. It's really sweet and it's really good. And the consistency of it, it does like kind of melt in your mouth a little bit. It is a little bit custard-like, but the weird part about it is that the parts of it that aren't super soft, when they crunch, they really kind of feel like you're chewing on pineapple. It's weird as far as the health benefits go, I know that this fruit is really good for you. It's very rich in magnesium, zinc, and iron. It also has 3% protein content, which is really nice. And then it also is very rich in vitamins A, C, and E. It's kind of big. Like, I feel like it's big. When it's described online, they describe it as being a small fruit. But I don't think that it's small. It's huge to me. Like, that's... That's pretty big, and that's only half of it. And I have huge hands, huge man hands, so. <laughs> so I got this at Myers, and it was $6.99. It's pretty expensive. And the reason why they're so expensive is because it's a very, very labor-intensive fruit to grow. But Myers did have it. They have, like, a little section with some tropical fruits if you want to go try stuff out. I know that these have a specific time that they're in season right now we're in the end of July I'm not sure what time that season starts or ends but you can always look that information up. I just know for a fact that it'd probably be best for you to find it in store because with my experience I've heard about this fruit a year ago and I've wanted to try it ever since but I never did because to order it online and have it shipped to you I swear to you you will pay anywhere from $70 to $170 just to buy this fruit and it's a little bit ridiculous yeah you get more than one but it'd be cheaper for you to just try to find it at your local store I know some people say whole foods is known for having them I've never seen it at whole foods but maybe when I went to go look the fruit wasn't in season I hope you love this video like share and subscribe also please leave in the comment section if you've tried this fruit and you've tasted different flavors I definitely want to know what you taste or if you do try this fruit after you've watched this video please still comment I want to hear what you guys tasted have a great day